Hey y'all, welcome back to the whole phase of millennial <laughs> dating experiment. As you guys know, we are powered by Cyrus and YC, baby. Yes, and we're coming straight out of Queen's Flip Studios. Oh my God, we're back. We like, we're back. back in we're this bitch. And, and, and we back, and we back, and we back. Hey, 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 hey. And we back in this bitch. And what is this, season three? This, this season three house. slash five. Oh, yeah, three, no, but three. Season three of the Whole Phase podcast. Period. Thank you guys so much for rocking with us, for riding with us, like, through this break. We took a little hiatus for the summertime because, you know, we had to, like, really live out our hot girl summer. Exactly. We had to take a step back and be like, am I doing this for the podcast or am I doing it for me? And then we had to start doing it for us. For real. (laughs) But wait, for those of you who... For those of you guys who don't know us, let's go down the line and oh, yeah. you know, give our, 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 our new followers and new some, listeners. Some some way somehow uh, you have not been previously introduced. Yes. What are you living under a rock? Exactly. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Right I'm kidding. But for those of you guys who don't know, I'm Becky J, and I'm your friendly neighborhood sex symbol. Ow, ow. Period. <laughs> And I'm MJ. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. And I'm MJ, the baddest Thickiana in the game, period. Baddest. Okay. And you already know it's your boy RB representing Punchline Punch. Today we sipping that bubble trouble. Yes. This you is, know what I mean? This is a cheers. Cheers. Yeah. 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 Eye season. contact. Eye contact. I got you. <laughs> eye contact. Eye contact. Yeah, yeah. We good. Yeah, yeah. Seven years bad sex. If you don't ha- um, do eye contact during a cheers, just let you guys know. It ain't real. Is it real, though? You got to do eye contact during a cheers. But I'm saying, has anyone ever not done it and had seven years of bad sex? No. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I just drink so much that I just have a lot of good luck going like, with my <laughs> shit, you know? Period. But, but yeah. how have you guys been? Like, oh my gosh, it's been like months. It's been a whole summer. Yeah, it has been the a whole, whole summer. summer. Oh my God. I just want to start because I feel like I'm going to have the shortest story. Okay. So y'all already okay. know. Right. Still a virgin all 2019. Shout out to you, MJ. Let's give you, a, give you some love <laughs> for that. <laughs> Also, like, I've been getting back into dating like I want to Mm -hmm. because I decided I can't you can't just like bench yourself and then complain that you have no niggas. So, yeah. (laughs) But I must say I am not that impressed. (laughs) Just saying. When you when you um, start to dial back and really work on yourself instead of like not not putting yourself out there, Mm -hmm. but not putting yourself out there so much then it's like you really start to see the bullshit because it's just Literally. like, yo, I was just going out and having fun with you motherfuckers just because I was bored. <laughs> I really don't like you. Like, exactly. It's like I don't have to you, be you really around don't people bring I don't nothing like. towards the table. You don't, br- exactly. you don't bring nothing in the vicinity of the table. How the <laughs> fuck are you supposed to bring something to the table? Honestly, and like the people I've been encountering are just like, just not it. Like, I had this one nigga. I feel like I, I talked about this several times, so I'm going to just say it one more time. This one nigga <laughs> asked me if he needed to bring money on our date. Oh. And I should have. I should have just blocked him there. Should have. But then I decided to invite him out to a party. He goes, how much is it? I said 10. And then he goes, oh, you should have told me before so I could have saved up. Wait, what? What the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, wait. I got it. What the fuck? 10 <laughs> So it's like I already I didn't need to learn the same lesson twice. I just wanted some attention, but attention's not worth that. Listen, if that yeah. first if that first He's looking for a mommy. If that first interaction <laughs> wasn't a red flag, this definitely is what it's Seal ten, the deal. Oh, it's ten dollars. Oh shit, you should have told me so I could save up. Nigga, what life I'm like, how do you just save up ten dollars? That like, you a grown ass man and ain't got ten dollars to go to a I party. I mean, you know, people are going through things, you know. Okay. I have to be the voice of reason. Some I should have saved things. up. I should have <laughs> saved up. Like you can are be you the 12? voice of reason all you fucking want. Like, I don't understand. Even when I have zero dollars in my account, I still have ten dollars. Like that's all I'm saying. That's for real. I feel like also not dating made it makes it so much more obvious when the people around you are doing fuck shit. Because oh I feel God. like MJ's been like a fuck shit reader this whole summer. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I wanted to say too. I feel like something inside of me, I don't know what, t- maybe inner misogyny or something, decided that because I wasn't dating and fucking, I was better than everybody else. And I turned you, into you're, you're a real... Cents. A real judgmental bitch, and I've never been that bitch, and I don't like being that bitch, and 
she, I mean, also, like, y'all be fucking wildin', but also, <laughs> I could address it in a way that's not judgy, just being like, hey, like, you know, maybe that's not the best for you. Or like, hey, let's health. talk about it. How are you feeling? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does it make you feel? Yeah, because it shouldn't make me feel any type of way. Yeah, I'm just will just be looking at me. I'm like, I'm going out. <laughs> oh. Oh. Like the whole, the whole vibe just changed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm a hoe. I uh, knew I was a hoe. Nah. <laughs> Take a sip. You're doing that tonight. Huh? Okay. Like, oh. Okay. No, honestly, I'll just be tight because I'll be by myself. <laughs> and it just re- reads like that. <laughs> I get it. Well, I appreciate you being, you know, so open and accountable and like honest about it. I love that. Yeah, that's. I don't even. I won't even call it judgment. Your your sixth sense just clicked in. You could just <laughs> sense bullshit now. I know, but like, I was saying shit like I, was, I don't know. I was just saying. Right, give me an example. I don't even know. I was just like, she's fucking with this nigga, and he's not good enough for you, and you look dumb, and that's like just like, ooh, that's not okay. Uh? And, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna say fifty fifty is not okay. Why? I'm gonna say the part that's not okay about it is the fact that you don't know the type of relationship. All the conversations that she and that person may have had. Mm-hmm. Second of all, I'm gonna say it probably is right because you're looking out for your people and you can see the bullshit. Exactly, that this I'm on the outside looking. This in. motherfucker <laughs> is, you know what I mean? He yeah. gotta save up ten dollars. I, mean? <laughs> no, I get, I get that. That was her nigga, but either no, way, <laughs> my, niggas way. <laughs> my niggas had ten dollars. My niggas, your niggas had more than ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> my niggas, yeah, you know, <laughs> my, my niggas. <laughs> But I, yeah, I, I forgot what I was about to say. But yeah, what's been going on with you? Because you've been having the hottest hot girl summer. The and hot, anyone, oh my God. anyone would, could argue, but Becky has had the hottest hot girl summer of 2019. For real, man. For I just real. felt like Kanye. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, my hot girl summer, it's been lit. It's been really lit. For those of you guys who were at the live show, y'all got a little bit, you know, insight on what was going on. But. Started off the hot girl summer in Texas, mm-hmm. home of the hot girl. Like the fuck. Mm-hmm. That's the last time they saw us too. Was right when we were heading to Texas. Yeah. So, so um, went out there, started bagging, bagging a bunch of Texas niggas, <laughs> caught some Texas D. And guys, I don't know if I said this at the live show, but while we were having sex, the guy said, "Welcome to Texas." While inside, and then said that while to you. fully inside of me, and then that—that's when I realized <laughs> like, that's OD. That's no. a creepy but shit. That's when I realized OD. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is a hot girl summer. Like, this is what a hot girl summer is like." He's like, "Oh my god, I'm a hot girl." <laughs> Takes Texas dick. I'm like, "Oh my gosh, give me that Longhorn D." <laughs> like, no, I don't, it was know. Awesome. I, I don't know. I can't picture somebody coming from out of town. I'm just thinking that, like, yeah, bitch, welcome to Brooklyn. <laughs> Welcome yes. to Brooklyn. Some Brooklyn dick, bitch. Yeah, like that sound lit, though. Honestly, it, the reason why it was like that was because you know Texas, they're like gentlemen. They open the door for you. They like ask you, you want something to eat? You want some water? So it just made it. It just secured the gentlemanliness. Of, but it also, he also said, it doesn't make them less of a fuck niggas just because they open the door for you. They was just raised right. That's um, what he that's said. True. I'm just so weak. Welcome to Texas. Yeah, I was like, I was like, dead. and then the next day, the next day, he was just like, yo, I can't believe I said that. I'm like, I'm crying. Like, I just woke up the next day crying about that. Like, just kept playing in my head all day. It's been playing in my head all summer, guys, I swear. I'm just, he's like, yeah, why did I say that? I'm like, I don't know. I could not wait to talk about it on the podcast, shit. though. So, you told him that? Absolutely. Oh he my know what God. type of time he knows. It is. He knows the oh, type of time. Uh, yeah, he know. That's all I'm saying. That's say. what's up. That's what's up. That's the yeah. energy we need. Yes. And you know then I mean? you're gonna get talked about, nigga. The fuck out of here. Okay. Are you know how RB feels very strongly about that? Me too. Yeah, okay. that's what Me I'm talking too. about. MJ yeah. Period. Fuck out of here. Okay, cool. And then I came back home and <laughs> I got them braids. MJ, them red braids I unlock the next bitch. Yeah. That's what I just wanna say, shameless plug. Follow my hair page, MJ Braids and Slays. MJ Braze this is what we do. Slays. We bring out your inner baddie that you never knew was there. Okay? For, for real. I don't know if y'all ever met my other personality, Remy, but she was full on out this summer. It she wasn't even like... She took control of your body. She took control of my body. Like, as soon as the braids came, like, that's what who was really running the hot girl show. Um, Met this, like, um, <laughs> drug dealer. I 
we were gonna cut that out. <laughs> and this guy I made a uncon- Doug Villa. He had an unconventional, <laughs> unconventional profession. He was yeah. an entrepreneur. He was self self employed. Self employed. Gotta use those right words. Yeah, he was self employed, and we met him, and it was so lit. I have a thing for two week relationships. I thought I was over you them. Have a thing for two week <laughs> I thought I was over them, but I had a two week relationship with this guy, and it was so much fun. Like we just went out and had a lot of fun, but. His D it wasn't for me. It no. wasn't for me. <laughs> I have to admit, guys, okay. I gave the worst blowjob of my whole entire life this summer to this guy. <laughs> First of all, his dick was just, it just was not appealing. You ever looked at a dick that you didn't want to suck? Absolutely. And you're just like, how do I even, like, how am I going to do this? I can't even, like, double-handed. I can't, like, it just was so small describe what it short. looked like it was just like <laughs> deflated it wasn't hard <laughs> then the nigga like we said he's self-employed so i guess he was dibbling dabbling in some of his his inventory so mm. he'd be on drugs and st- okay i was trying to be <laughs> a little <laughs> he'd be dibbling dabbling his inventory <laughs> slash on drugs but yeah so his dick wasn't like it wasn't rock hard. rock hard Strong. it wasn't he was like yeah like you know he's trying to put his little his, his gummy worm in my mouth and i was uh-huh. like no. See, <laughs> you needed that SpongeBob me when it's like, all right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> no, but for real, uh, for real, for real. That was a moment where I literally should have walked out. But, you know, <laughs> you know, it's a little wavering there, you know. And we're sucking his dick and he's trying to put it in my mouth. And, like, it's, like, starting to get a little hard. And I'm like, uh. And then I kind of, my teeth kind of graze it and it kind of starts bleeding. What? Wait. It, wait, wait. <laughs> I already heard this story. Every time I hear the story, I want to throw Look it up. At he was like, oh, shit, you cut my shit. And I was like, oh, yes. Well, oh, my me. God. I didn't do it on purpose. Stop. I didn't do it on purpose. The universe, right, but I did it on purpose. I need to find a way to get out of this. I didn't do it on purpose, but I wasn't doing a good job. So that kind of just, you know, left room for error. And there was error. A lot of error. Yeah, but it also made me stop having to suck his dick. So win win. Well, no, win lose. You won, he lost. Okay, yeah, win lose. <laughs> um, it's t- disappointing. <laughs> what RB? What it's his face? There's a few reasons why I'm disappointed. Because <laughs> you can see it in his face. <laughs> just, just, just. All right, number one. That just anytime, anytime a dude hears about any pain done to. A dick, period. It don't even have to be yours. It's just like a cringing feeling that we all experience as men. Okay, that's number one. Number two. <laughs> it didn't look like it hurt that bad. Like two, he he wasn't it's like. It's not ah. about pain. Number two. Like you're you're Becky. Like you shouldn't be <laughs> out here grazing dicks with nothing. That's what he said. He said it's your context is BJ on it. <laughs> like <it's, laughs> like Becky. Yeah, also, BJ but like, up. in order to give a good BJ, you have to like the dick. You have to want to suck the dick. If it's not so if you a don't, quality if you don't dick, like the dick, don't suck. The yeah, dick. I think that, that's, that's the lesson. lesson. That's You're the right. lesson I should say learned. that to her. Don't say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You defended her. <laughs> yeah, you too. If you don't like the dick, don't suck the dick. No Viewers, listeners, okay. if you don't like the dick. Don't suck the That's dick. That's definitely a lesson I learned this you summer. You don't have to suck the dick. You don't have to, but <laughs> these little nasty niggas, they really like that. What do you mean? They like their dick sucks, so they're going to keep asking, keep trying to pressure. But that's yeah. when you should have been like. You should know You should know if you have uh, an approachable dick or not. <laughs> okay. mm, but I think, I think he be fucking with, like, bad bit. We also were talking about this on the show. Like, women who are, like, super performative for men will be tricking and, like, strippers or you know mm-hmm. what I mean like sex workers or some people that are aligned with that mm-hmm. they may put on a show for a guy mm-hmm. who may have money who may have things like that and not let him know like hey your dick is just fucking trash no one wants to do this no one's excited to suck mm-hmm. your fucking dick it's only because mm-hmm. you got money yeah so I think he got a little I, I, I don't think he got the message <laughs> that his dick was dis- okay not disgusting Bex don't say that gonna, that it wasn't appealing mm-hmm. or attractive mm-hmm. After after I after I give my my little backstory on what I was going through, we are gonna readdress that because <laughs> okay. okay yeah what you been going I want to I do want to readdress it too because I, I feel like it goes in our other that's, topic that's crazy and then also one more oh, another thing this is the last thing guys it's oh, a good thing trying to figure out he's just like okay guys <laughs> I squirted this summer yay hey, <laughs> shout to you. 
that out to me. Nice little round clap. Yes, That's round of applause. Yes. Round of applause. Yeah, so it was awesome. It was like, it was just, it was just. How, how, how you end up scoring? Um, I was getting eight out for like an hour. Damn. An hour. Like, the nigga was like. An hour? Determined. An hour, girl. Like, over an hour. I came probably like, I stopped counting at 10. So I had maybe 15, maybe 20. I don't know. I stopped counting. And then what? after a while, once you just release and relax, now I know what people be talking about. Just relax. Like, just like, like, just literally relax Let's your body. Just like, yeah. Yeah, that. Let it come out. <laughs> and let that shit come out. And it just came out. And he was like, yeah, let it build up. Ah! And I was like, ah! Like, we did it a few times. I like, just want to say for the record. Up. Let it build it's up. It's pee. Ah! Squirting is pee. <laughs> like, it was just like, come on, let it build up. Let it build up. <laughs> and I, now I know how to do it. Now I can like feel my body. I'm like, Ooh, mm, oh, it's about okay. to come. It's about to do it. Yeah. You never squirt in <laughs> Like one time, but I didn't know it was squirting. I just thought I was peeing. So, <laughs> oh, because I'm, it is peeing. Because <laughs> it is peeing. Like, oh, wait. <laughs> no, but I like it. I, I think it, I think that shit lit as fuck. And if you can unlock that inside the bitch, you a next level type of nigga. Mm-hmm. You are God's gift. Period. That's that shit. You really gonna be okay? Rb is cheersing you for himself. That's so. that's literally. I feel like that's what becomes when it becomes double dick because it's just like okay, mm-hmm. I need that every day. And then after, like, cause all right, so the only times that I've really made someone squirt was when I was eating them out. And then when you get your dick on top of that, it's mm-hmm. just like a. <laughs> then it then it's <laughs> next level. A geyser. Sensitive, yeah. It's just you unlock the next bitch. Really? Right. Now this yeah. bitch is going to be cleaning your fucking house. Yeah, like, right what you need? Like, you need cooking for your kids. <laughs> Buying your kids I just picked, the, I just picked this up for BJ. I, I thought this was cute. This is his size, right? <laughs> but yeah, that was my hot girl summer. And I also had to chill after that because I was just like, let me focus on my dreams because I was like, oh, it's July. Have I, <laughs> have I, you know, gotten any of my dreams and accomplishments done? So yeah, then we put our live show together and you know rock the summer out. But yeah, that's been the hot girl summer. It's been pretty fucking lit. That's what's up. Yeah. How about how about you, Randy? Sorry, RB. RB. (laughs) Hot boy shit. Ain't no damn hot boy shit. (laughs) I don't use that lingo. Like I I ain't have no hot boy summer. I ain't no city boy. All y'all niggas out there doing that. Y'all sus. Like I don't care. (laughs) Like. Shots fired. Real nigga shit. That's what I'm on. Big dick energy. Oh, That's what I'm on. Oh, it's been a real nigga summer? It's been a real nigga summer. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what okay. I've been having. I've been making bread ever since the summer started, whether it's been punchline punch or, you know, doing my hip hop rap workshops with um my students in Jersey. Period. You know what I mean? Uh, RB love the kids. Of course I love the kids. I recently just just literally came back from this place called Camp Power and I was just in the middle of nature, my phone, my cell phone service was bad. Um, I didn't need to spend no money because they fed us like three times every day. Ooh. Yo, when you had camp and you eat three times a day, you're like, shit, I don't eat three times a day normally. At all. Oh, nah. That's how at I. All. That's how I be feeling at camp. I'm like, oh shit, this is a luxury. Like I, I really, I really feel like I have like unlocked a new side of myself where Ooh. I can reevaluate a lot of things and readjust myself in certain circumstances and just not overthink. Like one of the main things that I allowed myself to do was really clear my mind. And I was out mm. there in the middle of the night after we after it was lights out and all the kids went to sleep and shit. Like some of the counselors would, you know, peel off and you know what I mean, go hang out and I would go into the middle of the field that we always met up mm-hmm. in front of and just look at the stars oh because my God. there's no oh my it's God. it's pitch black out there like in the woods and like Nothing you could just like see it. the stars and it's like just it's like the sky just opened and I'm just like wow like That's I went awesome. tubing I was zip lining I fucking <laughs> fucking rock climbed and uh, shit like what? That's yeah. lit. Oh I was God. I was I was in like I have a fear of falling, so the fact that I rock climbed and I was on on edges, like the fear of falling is different from the fear of heights. Like I can be high up without a problem, but like if I'm on an edge or if I feel like like I'm about to like lose my balance and like fall off an edge or something like that, like I get crazy vertigo. Okay, so the okay. fact that I was even up there walking on, you know, ladders with nothing but fucking 
air and ground beneath oh me. I was just like, yo, this is really an accomplishment. And that place brought out like a new side of myself and it made me reevaluate my family core values. So, so now you a different, different nigga? I'm a different, different nigga. Oh my God. We already have women <laughs> from South Africa hitting us up talking about, yeah, you know, I love you, Becky and MJ, but everybody loves RB. <laughs> so, you know, everybody, everybody's favorite is RB. I'm like, word. Africa. That's cute. So now you're really trying to take over with this new, talking about the stars and shit. Now the bitches really love you. Look, man, it's, it, it takes a, it takes a toll on you when you're always out here like, yo, I'm busy. I'm getting to the bag. I'm making sure I'm handling shit so, you know, shit just doesn't get crazy because meanwhile, everything is always going crazy and you just got to find a way to organize the craziness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Out there, it was just like, I just dropped everything. Right, like there was nothing. I didn't have to worry about shit until I got back here and that was a feeling that I hadn't had in a long time and I constantly tell people, that it's the vacation I never thought I needed. Wow. Because, like, even though I was working and shit, like, I felt like I was on vacation. Yes. I felt like I was removed from the bullshit, the fast-pacedness, and the overthinking, and I was able to just be in a moment. I love that. I, I recommend. Wow. I love that you were able to um, go to camp because I went to camp when I was younger, and I feel like a lot of people could never relate to what, I would be talking about and they would think I'm a weirdo or think I'm, but I'm like, no, it's so beautiful. The stars, just being, having fun. Like fun is like first and foremost, you know what I mean? Being joyous, connecting with people. Like there's nothing like that. And the nature, like, come on, nothing like it. That's a fact. There's nothing, nothing like it. I watched the sunrise one time and I was no, just when like. When you wake up oh extra early, God. like everybody wake up early because yeah. the sunrise. Over and the lake and, and we, shit. we we had to be up early every day because we're doing like activities and you know and putting on different events for the children. But like once the day starts, you don't even realize how tired you were when you woke up because it's just like nah, I'm I'm in this. Yeah. Shit. Like and you wake up and you breathe the <laughs> air as soon as you walk out of your cabin. Like it's really some naturistic shit. Some of my clothes still smell like the fucking woods over there and, like, and I don't even want to wash them like because just I'm just like forever. yeah no, like I dope. like oh uh-huh. man like I had a real good time and I'm I'm gonna put a lot of things into forward motion speaking of forward motion I have two uh punchline punch associates who will be helping me spearhead the progress of punchline punch from here on out we yeah, had yeah, yeah. our recent meeting before I even went to Camp Power, and it's just a whole bunch of things in motions. We're about to have some shirts. We're nice. about to have some, a bunch of different merchandise and shit. I'm about to get, what are, what are them things? The, uh, the the stickers that you put on your boobs? The patches? The, the um, pasties. 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 I'm about to get punchline punch okay. pasties. I'm like, I don't know what oh, that is. Your That's cute. Like, oh. <coughs> I'm about to get punchline punch pasties. Um, and I got a big event coming. Black Friday. Okay. So that's big it. things, big, big things that go on. Yeah, big things are going. Working. I'm, I'm manifesting nothing but positive energy for not 2020 but money 20. If Ooh, you hear me. Whoa. Whoa. bars. Yes, nigga. Whoa. No, I'm hype. I write that dead. shit down. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype. It's, I'm hype. it's not 2020. It's money 20. I oh love that. God. I love that. I love that. I'm on that type of time too. Fucks with that, Od. All right, let's get into. Our segments. Who? Who wants to start? <laughs> I'll go first. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. <laughs> so welcome to Holistic, where your favorite co-ho MJ tells you how to get your whole face popping as fuck. Whoop, 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 it's holistic. Hey, hey, it's holistic. Take that. Hey, it's holistic. Hey, hey, it's holistic. She gonna pop that Hey, it's holistic. Holistic. Eat it like groceries. It's holistic. I, I, it's holistic, bitch. Hey, that's what it's supposed to be. Um, <laughs> so you got real whispery at the end there. That's how we always, we always. Wait till you see about that. <laughs> Wait till you see MJ's tits. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So y'all already know. Hot girl summer, city girl summer, whichever side you was on, is coming to an end. And I just want to say, I feel like summer kind of put a lot of pressure on us as women, you know? Like, 
this whole like I feel like the whole thing about being a woman is like you're supposed to be able to finesse anything you can out of these niggas like that's just what it is and if you can't then you a whack bitch and it's just like <laughs> Okay, so not <laughs> everyone possesses those fucking skills. And I just want to say to those of you who don't, who didn't have the hottest hot girl summer, it's okay to choose not to play the game, okay? Like, yeah, let's round of applause for that. It's okay. Round of applause for the basic Some goals. men would prefer it if you don't play the game. <laughs> That's also that. It's because here's what it is. It's like when you think about Megan and the city girls and shit, they're not trying to finesse the every nigga. They're trying to finesse the niggas with money. So now they got the every bitch trying to finesse the every the nigga. Every nigga. And it's like and the nigga both talking of y'all about, don't do have I need no it? fucking money. <laughs> both of y'all gotta save up ten dollars. <laughs> it's, it's not adding up. So I just wanna say it's okay. It's okay if you don't possess those skills. Nor should you really want to. Not shaming y'all, but I'm saying it's okay if you don't. Like you can't because be... you could end up in some crazy situations. That's a fact. And this is not a life that, you know what I mean, you want forever. You're just going to be 60-year-old finessing niggas talking about hot girl summer. Exactly. Real ass mm. bitch give a fuck about a nigga. Bitch, mm. go get a husband. Mm. <laughs> Boo! Well, I just that, say, yeah, that was a little, that was I, don't, a I don't like that last sentiment. Everything like is it. not about getting a husband. Some of us 60. are just trying to get our money. Right, I 60. could be 60 with no husband. I'll be perfectly motherfucking fine. Right, you could be Oprah. That's fine. Have she got you. that nigga in her house cooking and cleaning. Period. Period. I like, but I like. Period. Period. But I love that MJ. You know, shout out to all the different spectrum exactly. of hoes and hot girls and like women could, out there. You could be a hot girl without having the finesse niggas. Okay, like you may get your own bag and shit. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I've definitely felt bad before for like being like, oh my god, I can't finesse. Can't <laughs> like finesse. I don't like. It's, it, for me, it's just like I don't like talking. I don't like texting all the time. I don't like mm-hmm. entertaining people. I would just let my hoes fall off. That's exactly. kind of what happened towards the end of my hot girl summer. I just let my hoes fall off because I'm like, I don't care. Like I want, I want to follow my dreams. You know what I mean? Exactly. And if it's people I don't like, like I don't want to pretend like I like people. Like I'm a sad. Like I like authenticity. I don't like fake ass shit. So I really can't do that shit. And yeah. I tried. It just takes a lot of energy. It's not as easy as people think. It's just like, oh, I'm just uh-huh. finessing and getting the shoes. No, bitch. No, it's bitch. a skill, honestly. <laughs> Shout out to y'all who could fucking do that shit. It's a real fucking skill. You need a certain But to type those of, of us who don't, like. Yeah, and you need to be an asking ass bitch, too, I feel like mm-hmm. sometimes, too. And I just feel like. And that's how bitches be getting stranded with these niggas. <laughs> it's like, it's scary. It's really scary when you put your life in someone else's hands because you don't have money. Like, it's very, seen, it's very a, scary. I've seen an influx in growth between two different types of people since hot girl summer start. Okay, let's hear the first Professor one, Arby. The first one are the hot girls who are not partaking in the finessing but are partaking <laughs> in the liberation of themselves and okay. you know doing everything that they want to do like following their dreams like handling their business yeah, like I'm on that side. Not giving a fuck about these niggas like that. You know what I mean? And not entertaining them and having these niggas step up if they really want to, you know what I mean, come in their space. Mm. Because that's what, that's what their hot girl, hot girl summer has been. Like, me in my own space. Mm. Me doing what I need to do for me and not having to worry about the needs and the wants of somebody else without mm. them worrying about the needs and the wants of me, personally. Mm. Yes. Okay? So that's the girls that I've seen. Oh, and on the flip side, the dudes, I've seen a lot more, <laughs> like emotional as dudes mm-hmm. come out and speak about like yo like nah like I'm I'm really trying to talk to these shorties and they out here you know what I mean being hot girls and shit and it's, it's cause like, we like things yeah I, and it's granted to like things but you know what I mean I I've never seen so many good dudes come out of the come out of the woodwork before and I'm just like that's crazy y'all niggas really exist like that and it's just a testament to them playing the game as well yeah. because oh now y'all don't like it <laughs> because the, the the script is flipped and now you want to all of a sudden be you, you don't have to finesse me <laughs> <laughs> I feel like right now right now it's kind of like the women it's a power are kinda, struggle. It's a power struggle but I think in, in eventually it's going to even out like you mm-hmm. can see it by women taking their control back and just valuing themselves more and focusing on their dreams instead of just settling 
for a nigga or settling to get married or selling to have a mm. baby by just any nigga, I feel like that's going to cause the niggas to step their shit up too because it's like, dang, she don't want me because I got good dick. It's like, no, nigga. No, no. Dick is not enough. You no. need dick. You need ambition. You need gifts. You need accounts, my nigga. You need fucking investments, my you nigga. You already got to have one business, honestly. You need Show LLCs, LLC. my nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you... We're all gonna, and at the end of the day, I feel like we all just gonna rise mm-hmm. up together because niggas are gonna meet us where we're at instead of us just accepting where us they to where they currently down. are. I like that you manifest that energy because I don't have that much faith in niggas. Right? I do. I have faith in niggas. I because do. Because if I don't have faith in niggas, I would literally lose my fucking mind. <laughs> so <laughs> I do. I have faith in them. Well, I'm and glad. you got to you got to talk pos- to them. You just yes, you got to do. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try. Oh, speaking of. Wait, hold up. Can you pass me that ice? Got you. <laughs> Speaking of trying to talk to the niggas and, you know, almost everybody else, <laughs> I have a new segment. Oh, Ooh. yeah. RB got his own segment, y'all. RB got his own. I feel like RB's not the unofficial official co host now, and I'll be yes, the official. You were real. <laughs> Honestly, you're the fave, so you the co host. So we wow. unofficial. Girl, right. you still hurt my feelings about that. I'm in South Africa. Wow. <laughs> so, um,. The segment is called The Punchline. Mm, right? I like that. You know what I mean? I'm going to be explaining what the punchline is when it comes to, no. you know, people's uh, stories or questions or advice that they may have. So it goes, the whole phase and Punchline Punch present The Punchline, a truthful advice segment facilitated by RB, Becky, and MJ's perspectives on questions and or stories sent in by the viewers and listeners. If you need some advice, if you have a story that you need some perspective on, DM the whole phase or punchline punch to share your truth and find out what the punchline is on the next possible episode of the whole phase. So we got one. We already we got, got one. You. one. We and got I, one. I, we got one. I would like to read it. Yes. Go ahead, because read we it. always we get a lot of you guys always reach out to us for advice all the time mm-hmm. and send us your stories. So now we're gonna have a place for mm-hmm. for you guys to actually get your stories talked about. And, you know, from a different nigga. Exactly. Because it's like sometimes we can't really help. Like, you would need a man's perspective. And it's like, all I'm going to tell you is fuck that nigga. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> okay, so who? Wait, are you going to read it? Okay. I'm going to read it because we got a we got a live one, y'all. We got a live one. <laughs> okay, so sis says, okay, I need some advice. So I was messing with this guy that had a girlfriend. And I had sent her screenshots after she asked me for them. LOL. But he got mad and messaged my cousin, who was like my mom. So my get back, I love when people say get back, was to message his dad, and we linked and fucked. Now both father and son ate my ass. So my advice I need is, Mm -hmm. do I leave it at that and block the dad or keep going and make him my stepson? Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's my favorite play, (laughs) trying to make a nigga your stepson. (laughs) R- R- RB, this is your first. RB is this is my first. Your first is your first. <laughs> and I am so stressed out right now. First one. It's your first one. I don't know what you were expecting. <laughs> this is what I was expecting. We got hella crazy hoes. Shout out to y'all in the DMs. Shout we fuck with y'all. y'all. Shout out to you, sis. I hope you listen to this. The advice I gave you might not have been the best. Can, can I hear y'all perspectives, please? What did you say? Can I hear y'all perspectives first, please? This is how the punchline is going to go. This is how the punchline is going to go. Becky and MJ are going to give their perspectives, <laughs> and I'm going to give the finisher punchline. Okay, right. so the first thing I asked her, I said, does the dad know about the son? She said, no. She said, but I never had dick that good before from, from the, the dad. dad. And I was just like, I said, sis, like, you might just have to make him your stepson. Like, mm-hmm. fuck out of here. Like, if the dick is good, that nigga got a girlfriend. What's the point of weaning over the son when the dad gave you better dick? Mm-hmm. And ate your ass, apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. My perspective, you know, you guys know me. I'm more about my inner peace. I would say please dub all of them. They sound like a hot mess. And find you your own But I'm saying she jagged the dad into it. So how did that happen? Mm -hmm. It's still a hot mess situation. (laughs) Just move on to something new and fresh. That would be my perspective. Now, Arby, what's your punchline? My punchline is uh, I really have to question... (laughs) Your moral core. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. He had a girlfriend. Don't leave cool. This girl alone. Nah, nah, nah. You about to catch it. <laughs> he had a girlfriend, and I'm assuming you retaliated the way you did because you didn't know prior to. 
Okay, so he had a girlfriend. She found out, asked you for the screenshots. You sent them, and he got tight and called her cousin, who was like, like who's like her mom. I, know. I didn't get that part. But okay. she raised her girl. Everybody got different. No, different I'm home, saying home what is situation? Like, what did why he would why her? would he? Yeah, why would he go about his way to you know what I mean to Wait, message her to it's, fuck her? Do you think? We, 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 she didn't that. say that, that though. She didn't say <laughs> maybe either. To, I'm thinking either to fuck her or either to tell on her. She said, like, "You, you got a little said, hoe out here." Yeah, she sent the girlfriend screenshots after she asked for them, but he got mad and messaged messaged her cousin, who's like her mom. Message my cousin, who's like my mom. So my get back was to message his father, who's like his who, father, who's like his father, <laughs> <laughs> who's like his dad. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so um, I'm, I really don't understand if he messaged her to say, like, yo, your cousin is wildin', like, why would she send her screenshots? Or if he messaged her to try to fuck. So I'm going to assume he messaged her to try to fuck. Yeah, because he has a girlfriend and is cheating on his girlfriend. So this is his character. Let's not forget his character, okay? I'm not forgetting, I'm not forgetting his character at all. <laughs> but I'm not forgetting yours either. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Um bottom line bottom line the, the punchline punch is <laughs> the punchline punch is I agree with Becky you need to get the fuck out of dodge like this is not a situation I felt like once it was messy you didn't have to make it any more messier <laughs> you know what I mean and that's and that's the thing that I think not most but a lot of women don't really know how to do like not make Agreed. the situation messier. You're fucking his pops. You're fucking his pops. <laughs> All you could have did was just dub this nigga after you found out he had a girl on to the next one, somebody who could actually give you their time, energy, and effort on some real shit and not lie to you. And I know that's hard because every situation is 50-50, but like... We're humans. We have to take chances. It's like we don't know. We're not fucking psychics. We don't know what the future holds. So every chance is going to be 50-50. Now, with that said, yes, he's wrong for having a girlfriend. Yes, he's even more so wrong for messaging your cousin. But you are totally wrong for going after his pops. Like, Mm -hmm. his pops. Two wrongs don't make a right. His pops, two wrongs definitely don't make a right. And now you in dick limbo because... (laughs) His pops Nimbo. done. His pops done. Fuck the shit out you. They done both. Know, they both know what your ass tastes like. <laughs> like yeah, that's messy. You gotta think. You gotta think about how you want this to end. How does this story conclude? Because at you the end of mean? the day, she's gonna come out looking the craziest. You you that's are gonna come out looking that's the crazy. craziest. And that's what. And that's what a lot of these women have to consider. <laughs> how am I gonna come out looking? Now, granted. As a person who doesn't give a fuck about how people view them, I still maintain a, a level of morality within myself. How am I going to feel about this shit? You know what I mean? How am I going to feel knowing mm-hmm. that I fucked somebody and then fucked a relative who has a direct line <laughs> <laughs> of direct connection Direct to lineage. Them. Direct. <laughs> literally gave birth to them. Like... Mm-hmm. Um, I Honestly, think that's the punchline. Yeah. That's the punchline of the day. Yeah. Like, get out of Dodge. You need to leave that whole situation alone. You need to find somebody who's worth your time. Cause I guarantee you, pops is. <laughs> Nah. He, he having, if he, pops got that good dick, I'm pretty fun. sure he's doing just fucking fine. He having fun. <laughs> He having fun, and granted, you may be having fun, but I think the situation under uh, under different circumstances, I would probably have nothing to say. But being that the situation is what it is, it was like revenge dick. Yeah, it's revenge Get back. dick. Like you don't, you probably don't even really like his pops. You just like his dick. <laughs> Honestly, and, and to like me, the fact you like his dick and like the fact that he's his pops. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah that's you what just makes gotta, it more you just gotta question everybody's self respect in the whole situation. And I and <laughs> uh, 
this goes against my my better judgment, but I think you should probably tell him so he can understand the ramifications of his actions. The dad or the no, son? The son. Okay. Tell him that she fucked his dad. Nope. I'ma say just wait just till stop. the dad invites you to dinner. Nah. <laughs> wait, no, MJ, nah, no. See, see, no, that's MJ's making the messy. situation make more messy. messy. I'm doing the messy pie. Face. Look, I did look, <laughs> I had a problem. A I had a problem with A, B, C, and D. You know what I mean? Especially you messaging somebody who was a family relative to me, so I did this. At the end of the day, fuck you, fuck him. Fuck them kids. <laughs> I hope you learned your lesson. <laughs> okay, that was that was crazy, but I think you gave her some good advice. Yeah. I think that would be some good I advice. I hope you listen. I, I hope, hope you so listen. I hope she listens too. I, but she threw in some LOLs in there, so she sounded like she was having a fucking good old time. That's so. right. That's <laughs> that petty like stuff. So. She nah, being petty. Real. Yeah, but wishing you best of luck, girl. Best of I luck. I wish, I wish you luck. I hope this situation. Uh, I hope. Matter of fact, now nah, I don't wish the best for the situation. I hope this situation dies, and motherfuckers take that shit to the grave. To be honest <laughs> with you, right? Like, don't ruin no more family reunions. Please, over this please, shit. Please, <laughs> please, I don't think please. she should tell. Yeah, I think she should just leave the situation. Don't tell the son. Don't tell the dad. They probably just leave. Just block yeah, everybody just and, and get continue your life. Yeah. Honestly, because that's just gonna make their when that own shit family blow awkward. up. When that shit blow up, I hope you listening. Because when that the- shit blow up, Jeez, it's gonna be a hella awkward Thanksgiving. <laughs> I tell you that. <laughs> but this kind of brings me into my segment. We talked about like how you know she needed some self respect, right? And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Oh, somebody got a TMI. Yeah, you got a TMI. So, welcome to TMI, where I give you too much information about a certain topic. It's TMI. Mm. <laughs> it's TMI. Too We're, much information. Dang, we still didn't work on the song. It's, yeah, it's been months, but I'll let you go. I'll, I'll, I'll digress. This is, it's the song now. Okay. She got that it. TMI. That T M I. That T M I. T M I. On that day. No, exactly. On that day. T M I. Okay, we keep getting on the day. T M I. On that day. We keep getting on the day. We got back on the day. She ain't gonna lie. On that day. Ain't gonna lie. On that day. Better be small. Better be big. Ain't gonna lie. Better be small. Okay, we're gonna have to work on those lyrics. I'm gonna say it rather. No, no. Small, don't be small, big, better be big. Don't be small, better be big. Okay. Big dick energy. T M I. Body shape. Okay, I like that. I love it. I like that we're getting better. We're getting more melodies. How you give me the lyrics in this saying, yo, that's body shape. I, I I like the melodies. I like that we're getting a little, you know, mm, funky. I like the bass line. So I, love I think it. I think I think uh, T M I on that dick. I think that's gonna stay. Okay. All right, I thanks. like T M I. Ain't gonna lie. Yes. I like that part. I really yeah, love that yeah. part because it actually went with, you know, because I'm factual. I be coming with the facts with you guys. Okay. All right, give us some So today we're going to be talking about self-respect because I feel like that's also been a big thing about this hot girl summer. A lot of men have been coming out and saying, you guys don't respect yourselves. Why are you twerking on the ground? Right? Like, Why are you doing this? Because my ass re- looks good. Nigga. The that's not respect. That's, um, you know, that's not good. How are you going to get a husband? with that you know what i mean so <laughs> so i'm just like let's talk about actually what self-respect is because i, I feel like be i've been having issues with that too because i'm like hey do i respect myself <laughs> like <laughs> am i am i posting this just for likes is that respecting myself is that not respecting myself so i figured hey let's talk about it today so today I'm talking about tea it's the punchline, guys. It's this bubble trouble. Yep, got honestly. me slurring. Bubble it's trouble. Like, we didn't even hit that second for one. For real. So I for real. Know what okay. the fuck is going to be like at the end of that? Okay. So, self respect. I Googled it. Here's the definition pride and confidence in oneself. Feeling that one is behaving with honor and dignity. And now I looked up honor and dignity, and honor and dignity kind of just said the same thing respecting yourself and, you know, acting with respect. So, they kind of just all are like synonyms for one another. So pride and one and confidence in oneself, feeling that one is behaving with honor and dignity. I feel like self respect is something that has to do with you, with where you are in life, how you feel about yourself. We also did that Refinery Twenty Nine video about the whole phase, and we talked about having sex and being sex positive, and it's just more so about where you are in life. Do you feel good? Do you feel like you're able to do these things? And at the end of the day, you'll still be fine with yourself, or 
is just going to make you feel really shitty the next day, you know? I feel like self-respect is more about taking that time for yourself before you make decisions, before you <clears throat> do things with people, before you take things to the next level, or even before you entertain people. It's taking that time to say, hey, does this align with me? Does this align with my values? Does this align? Does it, do I feel dignified in doing this? And if so, move forward with it. Or sometimes, like me... I know I don't feel respected. Like, you know there's no honorable <laughs> dignification yeah. coming from that. She's just like, listen. This is what we're doing. I'm, I'm like, this is, this is what we're yeah, doing right Yeah, for me, right sometimes I'm I like. I want to do it. I'm, I'm like, hey, it. this is fun. And then I'll usually have to go through that same conversation with myself afterwards. So either way, either you have the conversation before <laughs> and then you live with self-respect or you have the conversation afterwards and you get there. You yeah. know, you, you always you get, get there. there. You yes. always That's all that matters. Self reflection and talking to yourself. I think you'll eventually get to that place. Everyone we might get there differently. Maybe you may, maybe you don't fuck. Cause you know, I feel like sometimes there are those moments like we talked about earlier with the guy. Let's give him a, a name. The guy that um that I bit his dick. Um, um, chomps. <laughs> and uh, we need a real name. <laughs> Let's go with Ty. Ty. So with Ty. I feel like I ha I could have had a self-respect moment, right? Where you like get up and you leave like I'm leaving. That would have felt felt really dignified and I would have been like, "Oh, yes, yes." But you know, that didn't happen. I ended up biting the nigga's dick, going through all of that motion. Wait, did you keep sucking the dick after? I don't know, man. No, 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 no. I couldn't. It was did you fit. Fucked? No, not after that. Okay. No, 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 no. You can't. Like his dick is injured. Like I just you know, his <laughs> dick is injured. His pride is hurt. You know what I mean? Yeah, it just wasn't it. But I felt like, you know, I ended up having my self-respect moment afterwards when I worked through it. And I'm like, oh, why did I put myself through that situation? Oh, because of this. You didn't respect yourself then. Oh, I respect myself now. I won't talk to him again. You know what I mean? I had that moment. But I feel like sometimes self-respect, the universe gives you that moment where you can really have that, like, mm, I'm full of dignity and self-respect. Um, but either way, you can do, you can get through your destination either way. But yeah. I think self-respect is something that we should think about and we should talk to ourselves about. Does this make me feel good? Does this not make me feel good? And kind of do the things that make us feel the best and feel our full selves. Okay, guys? Yeah. Thank you so Hi. much. You guys have been great. Thank you for coming <laughs> to my TED Talk. <laughs> it's your I TMI talk. I definitely feel like it's relative, though, because what some people think is, is, uh, is dignity, other people think is like, that's uh, that's not that's not dignity at all. And I think you know that's I mean? why that's why it comes to self respect. It's more about you, exactly. how you self. feel about you, that's a fact. and not trying to include a lot of other people's opinions because I think that just takes you off course and not to that end goal of that's like not self. I, that's other. Yeah, <laughs> uh -uh. exactly. Like your reputation and stuff like that. Like, yeah, that's cool. But like, how do you feel when you lay down in bed? You know. Yeah, but I, we're actually gonna. This is actually gonna be our topic for today. So we're gonna talk about self respect. Self respect. How does that feel? How do you feel about that? Uh, I feel great, especially after the video we posted this week and niggas is going in and shit. The nigga talk about basically you already talked about it. Like he was just judging this girl who was shaking her ass and talking about how do you expect a man to marry you and bring you home to his family if you're shaking your ass on the gram and it's just like. Nigga, you made this whole fucking video. Like, you had to find her video. You looked at several ass-shaking videos to even get to this fucking video. But I digress. That's mm -hmm. not about him. It's about what he was saying, which is basically you can't respect yourself and post your ass on the gram. So we gonna get into this shit. That's, that's, that's only by societal standards, though. Exactly. But it's like, which society? But, His society? Or uh, the society we're all living in that's actually fucking happening? Yeah, I, I, I want to say it's a bit of both. Because um, when you think about, like, core family values, especially coming from, like, generations before us, it's like they really think like that. Like, like and they expect their their sons to think like that, at least the decent ones anyway. Mm -hmm. But they don't expect their sons to act like that. Exactly. <laughs> what you mean they don't expect their sons to act like that? To act like they have respect. I feel like a lot of people will judge other people, but when it comes to them they get to do whatever the fuck they want to do. Like like the dynamic of like the the girl get the 
the daughter gets to um, stay inside while the son gets to go out. Yeah, and he fucking wild. But the, and and then we'll treat the woman like okay, she don't don't fuck with her because she doesn't have respect for herself. Da 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 da, and shit on her. But tell him to go fuck a lot of bitches. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's just like fuck bitches that don't respect with them. Don't fuck the bitches that don't respect themselves, and marry the bitches that do respect themselves. I don't relate to that, but I do I do understand that, and I have seen it, you know, and I don't relate because I was raised by my mom. She's always told me to, you know, respect women first, you know, even though I've had my, you know, I've I've had my I've had my hot boy life. <laughs> Your discretions. <laughs> I, you know what I mean? You know, where I was just like, listen, I like her. I like her too. Oh, I like her three. You know what I mean? So, And they all friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, some funny shit, sidebar. When I first started dating my ex back in like 2011, um, I'm scared. <laughs> she she knew three other girls, four other girls that um, she, I had previously been involved with, and I came and I was like staying with her at her crib at this point. So I came to the crib and I saw all of them sitting on the couch in the living room. Mm. Like, was it a whoa. confrontation? No, it wasn't uh, intervention. Was just <laughs> because like she had, you know, roommates and it was all like a big college community of a whole bunch of friends knowing each other. So like they were there to see, you know, her and the other roommates oh and my shit. Gosh. So I pulled her in the room and I was just like, Babe, babe, I right. Red flags. <laughs> Don't judge me for what I'm about to tell you. But I had sex with everybody who was sitting on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> on the sofa. <laughs> She what, like, does she take it well? She's like, God damn it, right? <laughs> like, I'm just like because Man, I had. She's a good one. But yeah, because I, I would have stabbed we, you. We, 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 <laughs> we previously had the conversation of how many people you've been with, like way before that. And it's also cool that and you I was, talked I was, to her. About and it. I was really transparent yeah. about it mm-hmm. because, like, I I liked her a lot. So when that happened, I was just like, Oh nah, we gotta talk about this. Nah, nah, cause I can't, I can't sit in here and not have my girl. That would have been, exactly. that would have made you a whole fucking. Cause if you would have told her anyway. after, she been like, so you have you me around all these bitches. You would have told her afterward, but they would have already funny, been told. They him. never came back. Like they never came back to the house after They probably that. when y'all went in the room, they were probably just like, Yo, what the fuck? Like y'all fucked him. You fucked him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yo, like no, we can't come back here. Who gonna tell done. her? I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the conversation that was had, but I'm it pretty was. sure it was in the back of at least all of their minds. Like, yo, for real, for real, this nigga. Okay, <laughs> wait. I'm just a... like, dang, she fucking this nigga too. Like the that's fuck, crazy. like, dang, I missed that dick. <laughs> they probably was thinking that, but I do have a question for, sure. for everybody. Yes. What is your definition of self-respect? I read you guys my Ooh. definition, but well, that wasn't mine. That yeah, was Webster. That was the Webster. That was Webster's. Definition. Yeah, what but that was the, the internet. Or do you want us to go first? Uh, I want you guys to go first. What's your definition of self-respect? I want to hear somebody else go first. <laughs> right. Les, I would say setting boundaries, like mm. what you like around what you want, like knowing what you want, so you don't set those boundaries. I feel like that's self-respect. So you know where mm-hmm. your line is, mm-hmm. and you know when you're and when you're crossing the line, and you know when you're not crossing mm-hmm. the line, or yeah, when that, other people are crossing that line. Ooh, to think yeah, that that helps you not put yourself in certain predicaments, and then have you end up wondering just like, why the fuck did I, why the fuck am I here? Type mm-hmm. shit. Oh my gosh, I mean? there's nothing mm. wrong when you're having a conversation with yourself <laughs> while a dick is inside of you. <sighs> that. Honestly, that's, that's, why, that's why I'm not talking to niggas now. Those specific or, situations. Or as a recent friend told me, because a friend had her sitting around in a room full of niggas, and <laughs> they couldn't really, like, get away because these niggas was fiending, so they had to, like, call their pops to, like, come get them. Oh, like, my god, Shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, that's don't... Like- <laughs> don't have yourself in these wild ass situations. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? The boundaries. So okay, what do you think? I, I got my def- definition. You got one? Let me hear Okay. Basically, I feel like in order to have self-respect, you have to have a strong self sense of self first. Yeah. That's number one. Yeah. And then number two, you have to have your set boundaries, like things that you're not going to fucking cross. So it's like, if people want to cross those boundaries, self-respect is saying, hey, no, I don't fucking like that. I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. And it might sound rude or like you're difficult, but like, the opposite of difficult is easygoing. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to be easygoing for all of these fucking niggas. So I'd rather be like that and have respect for myself than just letting all these niggas fucking dog me out. Ooh, that's a good one, girl. 
That's good. What about you, RB? What's your definition? It's as simple as knowing your worth, man. Like, <laughs> that's 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 what self-respect is. You got to know your worth. Cool. And know, then what do you do with your know worth? Know your worth. <laughs> don't some let people, nobody some people, try to play. Some don't, people know their worth. And they don't, just let like, nobody, <laughs> don't let nobody diminish your worth, even if it's your fucking self. Ooh. Talk to yourself nice. Talk to yourself nice. <laughs> you know what I mean? For real. Because, like, you can know your worth, and then and that's when those conversations with yourself happen. Like, you having a conversation with yourself, and you're questioning things because you know your worth, and you're doing something that's beneath your worth. So I feel like you knowing your worth and you knowing the type, the type of standards that you set for yourself, whether it be rude or whether it be nice, it's just like you... You're the fucking director, producer, writer, and actor in your own fucking movie. So you have to make sure you abide by the standards that you want to put forth in the world or you want to progress with and you want to make sure that you become the person that you set yourself on the path to being. And if anything is hindering you from that, as far as your worth is concerned, then it's not worth your fucking time. So, I love that. I'm gonna clap. That's, that's what a self, clap for that one. That's Round what, of applause. That's what self respect is to me. I Ooh. love that. Know your worth. Um, I think for me, my definition of self respect, it has to do kind of piggybacking off of what MJ said. That's my favorite thing to say, though, guys. Piggybacking. piggybacking. <laughs> so, piggybacking off what MJ had to say about knowing yourself. And I think it may change like i think that's what your 20s are about at least for me my 20s have been about knowing what myself is and that kind of changes as time goes on so i also don't want to be too hard on myself on saying like hey like i didn't respect myself in the past but it's just like hey i'm still getting to know myself and i'm still getting to know like what my boundaries are and what those what oh i didn't like that so like maybe i'll set that in stone for myself so i think self-respect is also like an ongoing thing where you check, like you said, repeatedly check in with yourself and say like, hey, how do I feel about this? Is this aligned with me? And once you finally get those things in order, get your guidelines and get your laws and your codes that you live by, just live and die by that shit. And then you'll feel good because you're like, hey, this is me. I know this is me. And yeah, you'll be able to move forward and not hopefully have those conversations with yourself when you're just getting dick and you're just like why you, the fuck am the I dick here? is inside you know, of you and you're supposed you, to like why the fuck am I you're here? just like you know I'm not enjoying one of, the, this. one of the core uh sayings that I live by what's that if you have to ask then it's probably questionable Ooh. <laughs> wow. we, that we all like I really felt that one because I'm like wow that's a good one. That is a good one. That one made me want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> For real, though, like, sometimes, like, I'll just be so impulsive. And I think with me, when whenever it's times where I'm acting out of, I'm not practicing self-respect, is I just move so fast that I don't even ask myself. Mm-hmm. I'll just be like, oh, I'm going to hang here. I'm on my way there already. Like, I'm getting gas. Mm-hmm. I'm, da, da, da. I'm not thinking. I'm not even allowing myself to think so deeply until the dick's inside of me. Until you get or a until moment. you get there, you you're get the nigga, and you're just like, Ew. Yeah, and then your sub- now your subconscious like, like see like bitch, him. see bitch, you didn't even ask me, you know, right? Funny. That's now my favorite here. word. Ew. Ew? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're just like, oh Yo, gosh, when why people am I say here? ill, that should be funny <laughs> as fuck. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, ew. For real. And oh yeah, God. that should be so awkward as fuck for yourself. And it's like, oh my God, like, who am I? What am I leading myself to, you know? Do you guys think there's like one set standard of what self-respect is or what it looks like? I think that's that's something that society tries to inflict on us. What mm-hmm. is, what is that? What are some the of the things that they tell us that tell us self-respect looks like? Uh, you know what I mean? Females who don't twerk on the gram, females who don't show risque photos on the gram or any type of social media or any type of outlet where there's mad eyes on you cuz it feels like you're doing it for attention. And if you're doing that for attention, then that's for everybody and not somebody who you want to dedicate your time and effort to. Do you that's believe why, that? In a sense, because I was raised in a way where my mother told me, stay away from that little bitch over there because... Because <laughs> her shorts is too short, because nah? she No, because she, all, she up in every nigga face around the block. 
You know what I mean? Granted, she, my mother don't know if she was fucking these niggas or not, but it's the fact of her, you know, looking too friendly. And so that being image, too accessible. And that image of being too friendly and, yeah, and being but too But it's like, we, accessible. nobody knows what that girl's doing, let alone, like, should that matter? But it's like... But when you come from that background, it's... it's so looking like it, is it? It's like the apple don't fall too far from the tree. If you look like that... The next level of you is acting like that. <laughs> the next level of you is actually being like that. And it's not too many disconnects with that, with those different steps. You know what I mean? Like, especially coming from... Like, if from, it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's, it's a duck. It's a fucking duck. It, it you know what I mean? <laughs> it could be a goose. It could be a goose. But, like, But a that's goose not... ain't too far off from a duck. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And, 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 that's the, and that's the world that, you know, a lot of us have been brought up in, especially dudes, especially dudes who, you know, don't have, you know, fathers like that or only have fathers who've taught them fuck shit. You know what I mean? In a sense where, like, yo, huh? No. Huh? Yes. And then, just like women, we go for the huh with the no because it's more exciting. (laughs) And I think I think one thing women have done, or at least in my perspective, and at least through my ex- personal experience, is when you start seeing this, like, hey, a man will, you know, that's respect. That's not respect. And knowing that women are so multifaceted and people have so many different backgrounds and experiences, we've kind of, I feel like, rebelled and said, like, yeah. hey, if you say that's not self-respect, fuck I'm it, gonna I'm going to do, do that it every anyway. fucking day. I'm, I'm, I'm showing my ass on the gram because it's me and because it's, I, I want to do it. And I think in turn, that has still caused us so much mm-hmm. divide because the like, niggas don't respect us anyway. But it's like we wasn't trying to get their respect to begin with. But were we were we were we trying to get their attention? You know what I mean? By like maybe, not maybe not. But you know what I mean? By saying like, hey, doing this. I know you guys don't fucking like this. I'm doing this for me instead. It's like. That's not for our self-respect. I don't think... You know what I mean? I don't think that's the main goal. You know what I mean? Because I feel like it would just be... Like we said, it'll be more of this hot girl summer. It would be more of us mm-hmm. following our that's dreams. That's because we're not... Doing- it's not about self. It's about trying to please others or trying to make others angry or trying to mm. do other shit to affect other people when it's not about you in the inside. Like, if I want to shake my ass, I'm not going to shake my ass, put it on Instagram, and be like, fuck y'all niggas. I'm going to shake my ass keep doing what I want anyway. I'm going to just post my post me shaking my ass and be like, don't my ass look good, you know? That's true. Exactly. Yeah. Like, I feel like it's, yeah, it's very it's very complicated. It really is. It's, it's a, super it's complicated. Shit. It's super complicated. It, it, it goes into something as small as this. I'm going to share um, a part of, you know, this this different program that I was like a few years back. I had a um I had a co counselor and she would never let her girls twerk outside the classroom because the classroom was just her and the girls. Like a safe space. Yeah, like a safe space. Like if y'all wanna twerk, y'all can drop it low, y'all can do your splits all over here. Y'all not gonna do that, you know, during uh roundup, which is, you know, when all of the kids are together because it's like it's not like the boys don't need to see that, but it's just like y'all don't need y'all need to recognize what doing that for yourself is like mm. before y'all ever are put in a position to be doing that to get the fucking boys' attention. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. And granted that's on a smaller scale because they're younger and they're, you know what I mean, junior high school, high school, but it's just like it's kinda teaching them, I right, if this is what you wanna do, create a safe space for yourself first. You know what I mean? If that's something that you want to put out into the air or, you know, whether you want to end up being a stripper or whether you want to be an exotic dancer or, you know what I mean, or something as even far-fetched as a dom, just like, you know, set up the safe space for yourself first, especially if, you know, in that case, if you're underage or less experienced. Yeah, I do like that. I like like that. that. By building your confidence and being around girls and twerking and making it seem like that because i know growing up i just always thought about everything in relation to boys like my outfit in relation to how the boys are going to see me Mm -hmm. my this in relation to boys and everything and i feel like that has affected me up until now where i'm kind of like 
Like, I have to force myself to not, if I'm driving and if I see a guy next to the car, to not, like, give him so much energy. I'll just be like, it's just a person in the car. You know yeah. what I mean? It's not just, like, it's everything It's not your is, future husband. Yeah, yeah it's not, nigga, re- everything is fuck. not in relation to yeah. men. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just, like, just doing me, being beautiful because I'm beautiful, being popping because I'm popping, dressing this certain way because of me and not for men. Listen, you know? all, all women really need to do is fucking look nice. Already Wait, if they want to, yeah. yeah. I mean, is I mean, it's, <laughs> you mean to it's, get men it's in attention? a sense, it's in a sense where y'all don't have to do no work. All you have to do is fucking look good. That's I it. mean, even when we don't look good, even when y'all don't look good, niggas still want to fuck. So it's just like, yo, y'all. I just, I think the main thing we have to realize is it's not about niggas. It's never been about niggas. Yeah, it's, it's not supposed to be thing. because at the end of the day, these motherfuckers. Don't really need your fucking attention. Mm-hmm. They don't really require your fucking attention. They don't mm-hmm. sometimes sometimes they don't even fucking deserve your attention. Exactly. Like so, you know, you know how much work it took for us to even be here, like to be alive mm-hmm. on this fucking planet. You think you went through all that shit just to judge yourself on how niggas feel about you? And think about it, niggas, they're fucking dumb <laughs> and they only think with their fucking dick. Those are not the people. Always, who, but yeah. Not always, always, but I'm saying. Those are the people whose approval we're looking for. Yeah. Like, the fuck? Get the, the, we are not fucking born for that shit. We're not born to be nobody's wife. We're not born to be nobody's fucking mother. Maybe we were, actually, the mother part. But, like, other than that shit, like, that's not what we're here for. We're here to live our fucking lives. We're not for ourselves. Like, we're not here for niggas. Okay. I have another question. Has your idea of self-respect changed as you've gotten older? Yeah. How was it when you were younger? Um, all right. When as far as like, um, talking to multiple women at once, <laughs> um, that being, wasn't you respecting yourself. I, I didn't really think of it as anything. That was just it was what just, you were supposed it was just to what do. What I was doing. Yeah. Looking back on it now, um, it reveals that I had a different outlook of self-respect and respecting others as well. Mm. You know what I mean? So it definitely uh, changed as I got older as far as when it, when it comes to, you know, just of how I feel about the things that I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like knowing my worth, knowing that I'm not going to settle for, you know, less than the things that I want to do within reason. You know what I mean? Less than the the uh, the opportunities that I want to take and the doors that I want to open for myself. So it is definitely grown. I don't settle for a lot of things. I don't, you know, just take bullshit, you know, like I used to as far mm-hmm. as like, you know, I'm not saying I used to be a doormat, but I used to give the benefit of the doubt a lot. For the pussy, buy a lot of free meals. Not even for, <laughs> not even for the pussy. <laughs> it was just, it's just more so just as a person. Whether I'm dealing with, you know, somebody professionally, you know, relationship wise, friendship wise, or you know, just, um, you know, just meeting someone. Like, I always gave like the benefit of the doubt, and instead of going with like my gut feeling because mm. I believe more in the the worth of relationships and people before myself mm. and now oh. that's heavy and now I'm way more invested in knowing my self worth and understanding my self worth and applying that to my everyday life way before I ever consider somebody else and that's within reason because the people who I consider first before myself have proven that they deserve that. So, wow. that's how I, I love think. that. I love that. MJ, what about you? Has you need the question yeah, again? Yeah. Has your idea of self respect <laughs> changed as you've gotten older? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So when I was younger, like my self worth to me was determined by. The niggas, like, well, not niggas. They were like boys then, but just by boys around how, like, how they felt about me or the attention I got or whatever. And when I was younger, I wasn't getting no attention, so I had like no self esteem. Like, I had a lot of confidence, like in myself, but I had no self esteem when it came to 
to niggas. Like, there was no boyfriends. There was none of that other shit. Like, it was only me and watching all my friends do all that extra shit. So, as I got older, I realized that there was no importance on that, really. Like, just on how those those boys felt about me. Like, first, they were fucking rude as fuck. They were mean to me. <laughs> and it's just, like, I wanted them to like me. Like, that. I just think back on that, and I think that's fucking crazy. So it's, like, <laughs> now I really respect myself, and, like, I'm not going to just let anybody in pass my threshold anymore. So it's, like, niggas be, like, oh, you're hard to approach or whatever. I don't know what the fuck that means. It's, like, <laughs> maybe I'm too hard to approach for you. Send your more confident better looking friend you know <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i just think like i'm fine being like that like people he ain't thinking him. He gonna ex- walk over him. exactly because he's like, more confident <laughs> i'm fine with people thinking i'm a bitch or i'm too difficult or i'm too high maintenance which why the fuck would you ever want to be low maintenance or whatever because the person mm-hmm. i attract is going to be the person for me and the people who are not for me are going to be fucking scared and that's fine <laughs> Okay. That's it. <laughs> so your shit has elevated major, major Notches all the way the fuck up because, like, I used to be a little sad bitch crying over this one fucking nigga who was <laughs> fucking on everybody. So that's not going to be me anymore. And, I refuse to be that girl and, ever again. And I've and I've been one of the niggas who've called a, a chick high maintenance due to the fact that she chose to go for a more flashy fuck boy mm-hmm. than somebody who was more grounded. <laughs> a and, grounded fuck boy. And, <laughs> <laughs> who, was, right? who was grounded and willing to love her. <laughs> right? Aww. It's like, bitches is just, just high maintenance because they won't fuck you easily. Like, okay. Like, I'm fine no, with No, I dissected that situation. That nigga was a fuck nigga and he was, like you said, fucking everybody and I'm just <laughs> over here with my arms open like I just want to love you I just want to fuck you <laughs> oh. I just want to love you I just want to do everything love for and you. fuck you I just want to fuck I mean? only you and that and that goes and that goes into what you were saying before about you know the things that you know you want your ideal nigga to have but and that really goes into nigga she has to like you exactly. if she doesn't like you nothing you have will appeal to her and it fucking sucks sometimes <laughs> because we be wanting we be wanting the ones we want mm-hmm. so, so bad. bad to the point so where bad that we that we that we fucking lower bad, we put their man. worth higher than ourselves and Just i feel because like they want us so bad it's like oh i'm trying to make you, you feel good about yourself you put them that you make yourself here, feel so you shit put them exactly. up here so high and try to climb so high that when they leave and take the platform from under us, the fall is detrimental to your mindset for a couple of days. Days. <laughs> like, nigga. If that. If that. Years. <laughs> I feel like that's, I feel like that's something, that's how my, Triggered. that's how my idea of self-respect have cha- has changed as I've gotten older. And even, I would say, these in the last few months have really, my self, idea of self-respect has changed. Like, I, I'm the type of person that puts people on a pedestal and I'm the type of person that puts people like their their best version of themselves. Like I see someone's best version potential. of themselves and their potential and I'm like you are this. Like this is all I see. That's, I see you as That's a- why MJ said you used to date the weirdo niggas. Yeah, I, I definitely still do date weirdo niggas. I definitely do. I date, I date niggas that are like you know out of the box and stuff like that. But that I don't think that's the issue. I think it's more so about niggas who maybe just don't value me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I value them a lot more than they value me, and I'm just like because I'm I have a lot of self confidence and I'm good on my own. I'm just like, okay, well, I can hold that part of myself, and I can also hold you up, too. Exactly, but it's that's not your job. Exactly. It's that's not my thing. It's not my job, and it hasn't, it's, it hasn't really worked out for me the best because at the end of the day, I need things as well. I feel like when it comes to setting boundaries, like setting a boundary is saying like, hey, this is something that I don't want you to do, but this is something that I need you to do for me as well. You know what I mean? If you're going to be in my life, if you're going to be this close to me, I need you to check on me. I need you to mm-hmm. care about what's going on in my life. I need you, you know, I need these certain things and whatever the, that bare minimum is, 
letting communicating that to people. So I feel like as I've gotten older, instead of just like just being positive through whatever the fuck shit is going on, I literally am able to set standards for myself, take a step back, like, hey, I don't like that. Like, I don't like that this is going on. Hey, what do I really want for myself? Where do I see myself ideally? And how does this line up with it? And having conversations with people. I feel like before, I didn't have conversations with people because I feel like, I would maybe lose the relationship or I would lose the connection with the person, but now I'm able to just either have the conversation with them or just dub it in general. Exactly. Like having that self-respect moment of, oh, I'm just going to leave you on red because you're hitting me up on some disrespectful shit. Instead of just like hitting them up and being like, uh, no, it's just it's just a dub. Like, you know, setting that boundary for, your, for yourself so that you feel good. They don't want to talk about sex the first day, nigga. Exactly. We don't. Like, we I, really I don't. don't. I don't want to see your dick. Stupid. And it's like, okay, you fucking ghosted me, but you sent me your dick. And it's just like, and if I post it on Instagram, then I'm fucking wrong. Like, I can't. Yeah, like, I had this guy <laughs> who hasn't been, like, you know, I'll be messaging him, and he won't be responding to me and stuff, leaving me on red. Yeah, that's rude. Oh, it shit. It is rude. Yo, it is very this nigga, rude. the same nigga I was just talking about who sent me the dick pic. So he just hit me up, because I don't follow him on Instagram, because I sent him the... the um. I'm drunk. I just realized. <laughs> I sent him the invite to our fucking live show, and he left that shit on scene. And this not that's not the first time I invited him out, and he just didn't fucking say nothing, but read the fucking message. And I'm just like, you know what? This I don't is the need ten dollar guy. Life. No, no, no. This is a different guy. Okay, okay. So yeah, you, I'm like, you I you, are, you got to save up ten dollars, and you leaving bitches on red, nigga. <laughs> No, that's different. You better get the fuck. But yeah, out so of then he hit me up the other day talking about, oh, uh, why'd you want to follow me? And I'm just like. I said, because you kept leaving me on red. I'm just like, bitch, you don't even need to have this conversation. He, what did he say back to that? He just kept saying, oh, I think you had me confused with somebody else. His mom has cancer. And he oh, was my God. And, and I think that's... And his I think, phone wasn't working. Oh I'm just my like... God. You niggas gotta stop doing that. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know you, you was fucking other bitches. Like, like you wilding. Like, I don't even care if you was fucking other bitches because that's this. not my nigga. Nah, <laughs> like, but still, nah. Don't bring your mama into this talk about... Or whether you was fucking other bitches or not. Nigga, you was igging the fucking messages. Exactly. She had your number. She ain't no fuck out of exactly. here. Exactly. I'm like, and if that's the once. case, and if that's the case, fucking say something. You ain't communicate. Exactly. He didn't say anything, so I'm just like, you know what? I don't want to keep doing this. And then it, we just kept going back and forth. I'm just like, nigga, like you left me on red. I'm looking at the text messages right now, and he's just like, oh, you have me confused with somebody else. I said, you know what? I'm not trying no, to do all this back and no. forth. Like. Have a nice life, and then you had a self respect moment. Yeah, cause I'm nice. over that shit. Like, I feel yeah. like I feel like that's how I've grown too. Like, the whole um, let's just be friends thing. Like, um, that's something I had a I had a hard time with because I'm just like I don't want to be friends. I got enough I friends. I want the guy. I want to be. I want to be with you <laughs> or just something as minute as ghost. No, it's not minute. That shit is a very big fucking deal. They, so, so big they made a show out of it. You know what I mean? ghosting it's like i've i've grown in a way where it's just like i'm not chasing you bitches down no more i'm getting the hint i'm taking a hint in any facet whether you are leaving me on red whether you are just disappearing or whether you are just giving me that energy mm -hmm. where it's just dry like ass dry ass answers shit, shit. taking mad long i'm to just answer gonna back. you know what i mean yeah. i do that shit where, all the time before me before too. where i was just like not really knowing my worth and just going in on all right i'm gonna be patient all right i'm gonna you know what i mean keep trying maybe mm -hmm. it'll work out it's just like fuck out of here yeah i think that's a big I'll thing you know his worth period i think that's a big <laughs> thing. hi africa <laughs> <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> I feel like um, that's a big thing, taking the hints. You know what I mean? Like, following your gut. You, that's when it comes to yourself. Like, really getting in touch with yourself and knowing what you fuck with and what you not, don't fuck with so that you end up feeling and, good. And you that goes I mean? for you women, too. Like, Absolutely. A lot of these <laughs> niggas ain't even worth your time. Y'all don't need really to be... Shy. They just got Listen, dick. They just no, got crazy all dick. All they have is dick. And, like, dick is not strong enough to fucking build Women should only shoot of. their shots, Ooh. not run down the court. You should only shoot your shots, not run down the court. If you got to run down the court, that nigga not for you. Like, because he's all the way on the other side of the court. He should be under this fucking, under the hoop catching Trying the fucking catch the rebound, rebound yes! bitch. Like, passing the ball back to you if you miss. 
Sports! <laughs> I, love this. I feel like this is a really good conversation i think a lot of you guys at home too should have this conversation with yourselves and with your friends and stuff like hey what does self-respect look like hey like and if you got a friend who you know is not here. is not respecting themselves pull them to the side be a good fucking friend stop exactly. letting them do that but fuck don't shit. do it in a judgy way men and women alike if you got a friend who out here wilding pull that motherfucker to the side and be like hey you know how you do but also this like is i not what you but do. also like i said earlier a lot of the times like me i'm a type of person <laughs> Who learns through experience, and I know that's not the most wise thing, but I like to take the take life by the horns. I'm like, hey, if I brought me here in this room, what yeah. am I like? Am I gonna or, walk away? Like, I can walk. Like, I could, oh, I, I could do that. You, you, True. You was, you was the child who touched the stove. Even I touched mommy, the stove. Even though mommy told you it was I'm a touch the stove ass bitch. Jesus, I'm a touch the stove ass bitch. Yeah, no, I really am. So that's what I'm saying. Don't also don't be so hard on yourself. I have like really accepted uh-huh. this part of me. Like, I'm a touch the stove ass bitch, so I'm a touch the stove, but it's also okay to have those mm-hmm. conversations with your friends, with your, and have a safe space. Create a safe space for your friends who like yeah. to touch the stove. Because it's like, you gonna touch the <laughs> stove, and it's like, okay, nobody, everybody told you not to touch the stove, but you gonna be fine with your decision to touch the stove because you wanted to touch the fucking stove. Exactly. I'm That's like, it. I can live with, I can live with touching the stove. You know what I mean? But I can't live with my friends treating me like shit. You know what I mean? So it's just like, let's have because a Because you touched the stove? Because I touched the stove. Okay. You know what I mean? Like that. Now I'm just like, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm <laughs> living my life. I'm going to keep touching the stove. You know what I mean? Right? Like, And if you really cared about <laughs> or it's me. it's like, you want to remind them of the last time they touched the stove. <laughs> yeah, and that's just triggering. <laughs> like, like, bitch, about me be, touching the stove. Bitch, bitch, you be touching the stove all the motherfucking time. Or I was telling MJ, <laughs> okay, bitch, now because you're not dating nobody, you want to act like you all high and mighty, you just not dating nobody. Yeah. You just you just don't have no fucking fuck shits to go through. She but I'm going that. through it. <laughs> I had to tell her because I'm like, oh, girl. No, because I was, first of all, I was trying to help her. And she just, she was, looked at me and was just like, I'm a self-aware person. I know what's going on. I'm like, okay. But let's, I'm saying let's have a conversation where it's a conversation, not Agreed. like a bitch, you need to do this. Um... You do not know me. MJ is just like, <laughs> I'd rather go through no shit than fuck shit. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly. For now. We'll see. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> but I no, think... No, she's been doing a real good been job. She's doing a great like, job. She really I'm has. I'm genuinely proud of MJ. I legit. Like, let's give her a fucking round of applause. For real. Period. You've been doing the damn thing. But like I said, create, create some safe space for your friends that are a little more risky and a little more fat. Not yep. fun. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not but, fun. You know, but who are just more fun oriented and just like, I want to have fun instead of like, you know, growing <laughs> right now, you know, and help them use that moment for growth. Like, okay, like, hey, but how did that make you feel? Like, but where did you say, you know, just having a conversation. Uh-huh. And a lot of the times that takes a certain kind of dialogue and I, I've been therapy so I'm able to have a lot of that dialogue where you're like unbiased and unattached mm-hmm. to what people are going through Yeah, but try to do that try to talk to your friends who are out here being a little yeah. more risky Make, right. create a safe space for them alright I have a I want to answer from everybody for this question okay mm-hmm. <laughs> okay so when was a time that you didn't respect yourself <sighs> I'm gonna go last Leslie, you want to go first? I feel like you're thinking. I feel like I didn't respect myself, I would say, about a year ago, just accepting anybody just because I want to be loved. So I didn't set those boundaries where I was like, okay, I don't like that. Don't do that shit to me. It was kind of like, oh, well, he's going to stop. He's going to learn. He's going to grow into it. It's like, now I'm like, no, I got shit to do. No, thank you. So I feel like, I say when I was 24, that time period, there was a lot of shit of me accepting just anything just to have someone who loved me. Well, no. Not 24, sorry. 23. Uh, you right. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned 20. I was like, damn. 24, shit. Yeah, I was like 23, yeah. Do you, do you okay. have what I'm doing or do you want me to go? You could go first. <laughs> okay. Um, I've, I feel like I've just had so many, so many examples of me. A lifetime. <laughs> just a, literally sorry, a lifetime. lifetime. Like, I feel like literally last week is the first two weeks ago when I really started, like, living in, like, self-respect and, like, and, like, in the reality of what's going on in my life and just saying like, hey, you don't deserve that. Stop being positive and be like, I'll manifest a situation that's better. <laughs> it's just like, bitch, this ain't it. <laughs> it's like, this ain't it, ho. So, um, I would say I've definitely dated people who like have shown 
I'm saying dated, but that dated people who have not been dating me. <laughs> like, Ooh, who that's have, number one. You know what I mean? Like, Ooh. people who have not expressed any interest in me past my vagina. You know what I mean? And, like, holding people to, you know, these, this whole standard where they don't really even hold me to that standard. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I've definitely done that last year. Ooh. Yeah, and I feel like even in my my first relationship, I've done that too. Just dating someone who like I just wanted him so badly, like so badly more than I wanted myself to be happy. Mm. So yeah, I think those are two examples of where I haven't respected myself and put myself first. But also, there's always that the light at the end of the tunnel where I have that moment where I'm like, hey. I'm walking away and I'm enough never is enough. I'm, enough is enough. I'm not dealing with you anymore. And same thing with this. The, the, the last person I was quote unquote, you weren't dating Bex, but you know what I mean? Just finally like, just stop entertaining them. Stop entertaining their conversation. They're going to hit you up. It's just like, I just don't have anything else to say. Like, I'm just going to leave you unread. You know what I mean? And that felt so good because it's just like... Honestly, that should be feeling real good, especially when it's like somebody who's not fucking right for you and they try to put their bullshit back into your life and you just leave them on red. Like, yeah, instead of entertaining great. the bullshit and going back and forth, like you said, having back going back and forth with someone that doesn't respect you, who's just going to try to convince yourself, convince you and trying to... That, it's just like, uh, let me just not have the conversation. So yeah. I feel like, yeah, those are some moments that I did. I would say did. summer of 2017. <laughs> but not even, though. No. I feel like from the moment I started having sex to like, like last year, I'm going to say from then, I really was not respecting myself. Just because I was putting myself in situations where like, I didn't even really want to have sex with these people. And it's just like, it's like, how do we go from me saying, no, I'm not having sex with you, to, like, now I'm just giving you all of me that I didn't want to fucking give to you. And then also, I was fucking with this nigga for a while who just did not even respect me. So it's like, if you're fucking with somebody who doesn't respect you, that's definitely a sign that you're not respecting yourself. And it's like, I don't know. It's just, you just have to show yourself, like, I'm not going to allow this person to treat me like this anymore or to do these things to me anymore because I don't fucking like that. If you don't like that, you should be able to voice that. Mm-hmm. And that's that. <laughs> I got lost. Sam, Sam. I got drunk there. <laughs> <laughs> you got lost in the punchline. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. Oh. <laughs> a time I didn't respect myself. Uh, other than the fact that... Uh, I'm dating, I was dating multiple people, multiple people at one time. Uh, is another time where I was dating this this chick from Queensbridge, and <laughs> Queens, and she was mean as fuck, man. <laughs> Wait, what like, do you mean by mean? Like she was just mad rude. She like, was abusive. She wasn't. Verbally? Ab- she, she, oh, she was verbally just, abusive. Oh like, my god! Domestic violence. Like, what? Like she she. She called me a bitch ass nigga every chance she got, Aww. and I was still fucking with her because she had good pussy and shit like that. And oh, so, she so you would you would retaliate on the pussy? Like, yeah, I'm a bitch ass nigga. All right. Yeah, but then after it's that, like, but you fucking this bitch ass like, nigga. But like she she would never let me stay over. She mm. would only hit me when she felt like it. Like mm. it wasn't it wasn't it was like I right, cool. Bitch. It was like I right, cool. You know what I mean? I'm fucking you, and when I need you, that's when I need you. But like when she didn't need me, it was like, yo, I'm I'm texting myself, mm. or I'm I'm chasing, I'm I'm a fucking dog chasing his own tail. You know what I mean? So you felt like until, you were until used? she jumped in the middle. Yeah, basically. Or I just felt like she was dealing with whoever she was dealing with, and you know what I mean, shit like that. Sometimes I would call her, she would pick up, hang up the phone. You know what I mean? <laughs> or just. After I call her like maybe twice, mm-hmm. it'll she'll turn her phone off and end up going to voicemail type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it could be like any single, any given time, like whether it's night or day. And it's just like I just want to fucking talk to you, bitch. Oh my god! And you, for me, I feel like when it comes to those moments, it's just like there's still a part of you that wants to call back. You know what I mean? <laughs> And I feel like it when it will I, always be a part of me that wants to call back. Oh, I feel like no. I've started having conversations with myself that with that part of my anymore. with that part of myself. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, why 
why would you still want to put yourself through that? Who who in me, what part of me in me wants to still put myself through that? Knowing that this person does not give a fuck about you, why would you still want to push yourself through that? So I feel like that's the work that I've been OD, putting myself in. And back then, I was way more of a hopeless romantic. So it's like somebody, it's like an immovable object meeting a fucking unstoppable force. And just cancel each other out. Yeah. Oh my you know gosh. So. That's too much. Okay, on a more positive note, when was the time that you practiced self-respect? I'm going to go first. <laughs> Let y'all think about it because I already had my answer from yesterday. <laughs> so, like I said, I've been trying to get back into dating. and Like, I just want to see what's out there. And like I said, I haven't been that impressed. So, I'm just going to stay where I'm at right now. But, yeah, so I was supposed to go to the movies with this nigga. Who I met him on a dating app. I need to get off this fucking dating app because that's definitely not where it's at. But I was trying to, you know, give it a chance or whatever. So Are you self-respecting yourself if you on dating apps? It depends on what your definition of self-respect is. is, I think it's 2019. Everybody's on it. I know, but I personally don't enjoy them just because of the emphasis on fucking. I don't enjoy that. That's what I mean. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, so if you have boundaries, you could do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, nobody, yeah. Nobody look, met, ain't nobody on looking on a data app for nobody with no fucking boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> but there's some, on on there. on there's some people on there. I think there's some people on there. I think, yeah, some. I've been looking for those people. Yeah, I haven't found you them have yet. To, when you put, when you, I found niggas who don't have $10. Download the app, you gotta be like, okay, this is what I'm on here for. This is what I need it for. <laughs> and then you'll get it. Like, I've, I haven't had a like a lot of situations where it's like about just fucking on dating apps and I did all okay you know what maybe that's my past because that's what I was using it for before yeah. so I'm like yeah, yeah, well yeah, let's, get to, okay. let's get to let's get to your story okay oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah I was supposed to go to the movies with this guy so this was mistake number one he asked me to come to his house first to, I thought I was just picking him up because I yeah, y'all know I fucking hate when niggas don't have cars. Not when they don't have cars, but like if they need my car. Like I don't like that. And they can't just meet like we could yeah, we could just met there, you know. We'd be like, oh, you don't have a car. But you know, I haven't been dating, so I'm like just a, don't know a how different to play the type game of bitch. No more. Exactly. So I'm like, I'm like, all right, let me just go see. So then he's like, oh, he's not ready yet. Can I come inside? So now, why are we sitting on the couch if you're supposed to get ready, my nigga? Like now we sit on the couch. Now we're making out. Now you're trying to fuck me, and I'm just like. Why the fuck am I here? Like, I literally looked back at the situation. I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to lose with this nigga. So I literally just left. Like, you said, yeah, I'm going to head what out. Was his reaction? <laughs> I'm going to head out. He what was, was his just, reaction? He was sad. He's just like, is it me? And I should have told him it was him. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I what did you say? I just said, nah. I, I lied and said I had to go pick my nephew up. <laughs> and if it's the kisses, she's like, yep, gotta go. I was like, my uh-uh. nephew, I feel him in my gut. Like, I gotta go get him. Yeah, and I just went and got myself tacos and I went home. Well, shout out to you for doing that. <laughs> Self respect. Self respect. I should have told him he was doing too much though, because mm-hmm. so niggas need to know that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, because he didn't understand the word no, and I'm just like, oh, you are raping ass nigga. <laughs> Let me get the fuck out of here because I don't fucking like that shit oh at God. all. Get the fuck away from me. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh. Mm-mm. Arby, you got a time you respected yourself? Yeah. Um, a girl who ghosted me um, came back into my life. <laughs> this is what you told us about the other day. Nah, this, oh. this is, this is uh, a further back one. Okay. Oh, okay. Girl, you had a few of those then. Yeah. But, but the one that happened recently was way more prominent. Okay. But oh, um, okay. the, the, one of them that um goes to me she came back in my life and just pretended like nothing was wrong (laughs) (laughs) and hey um, big (laughs) head like hey haven't seen you in so long (laughs) and i told her and i told her um go fuck yourself (laughs) no i said i I wish the best for you but i don't i don't think that this is something i want to involve myself in again and end up going through the same motions of chasing you down and you just disappearing whenever you feel like so you know we could be friends and we could be cool and i'll always be here if you need a shoulder to cry on but i don't think us being intimate is something that is gonna be uh worth my time <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. i had a, i definitely had a guy do that to me and i definitely respect him so much more because of oh yeah he she has, still hits me up because he has self-respect like I will hold him to the high caliber because he just wouldn't allow to be himself to be treated like shit. And I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> oh, 
I think for me, a time that I a time that I respected myself. <laughs> you got one in there, girl. You I do. I got one in there. You got a few. I got one in there. Okay. Okay. This is like the most recent time. So, ooh. Okay, so my ex came back into my life, right? He wanted to talk and have a conversation. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Turned around mass life. Like, the last Which, one. The last uh, one. He tried that to have one. a conversation, you know what I mean? And we, oh. we were talking, we were From connecting, we were catching up. <laughs> we were catching up and everything. And it was cool, but I realized, like, he wanted to, like, pick things up where they left off, and he just wanted to, like, just jump back right into things. And I was just like... And kind of started setting boundaries and let him know, like, hey, I'm just not in that space. First of all, like, I'm just not in, even in a relationship space. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just more so focused on me. I'm ready. I'm, like, love to be single and just focus on myself. And, hey, we can be friends. You know, that's something that I'm looking for that I would, I would like to have. Mm-hmm. And I would set those boundaries with him. And he didn't really, wasn't as welcoming to that. Oh, his achy, breaky heart. Because he wanted some more vagina. I mean, I think he wanted vagina. And, and, and he wanted and, the love. And, he, and, he, and I'm pretty sure he's seen through channels that it's your hot girl summer. And it, it probably enticed a couple of feelings. <laughs> it's just a lot of things. You know what I mean? I'm hot. What can you say? I'm mm. a beautiful you person. Be, you be on your shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm, you know, I be like, and you know, been, talking about been, stuff left. You've been super glowy since you left that nigga. So it's like. All of these things. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> he's, 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 he's just like. Just, yeah. So I just ended up setting boundaries of, hey, we can be friends. And he didn't really like that idea. But still, I like. never liked that shit. I know. But for me, I was talking to Les about this before the show started. Like, hey, if I'm this, like, amazing person that you want in your life. That means having me in your life as a friend would be valued. And if that's mm-hmm. not valued, then that's cool. I'm going to keep moving forward and being the great, amazing person that I am. So that's a way that I, se- you know, had self-respect I, for myself. And I will be okay with that because I have enough friends. Mm. <laughs> hey, what you mean? You would be like, do we not be not friends? Yeah. <laughs> it's the way his face like, just got. Well, yeah, they have so he was friends. on that type of time, so. Like, if I, if, if. Not only if if we had sex because I'm I'm friends with people. No, like fuck I no, we had people. sex. We fucking but lived together. We yeah, were like, yeah. Cool. When it's when it's shit like that, deep, then it's like, the dub. When it, when it goes when it goes from, you know, me just fucking to we had sex and you laid on my chest while you fell asleep and I was watching TV. Then I don't want to be your fucking friend after this. Like, nah, go go over there. Because I did that story. Go over there. Go over there. <laughs> yeah. But still, like either it. way, no, I respected sorry. myself by sorry, not sorry. By yeah. doing me, and you know what? I and I also appreciated. I feel like self-respect, like we said, has to do with allowing someone to respect themselves and do whatever makes them feel good. So it's just mm-hmm. like, hey, if that does not work for you, cool. You do that. And it's not like it's bad blood. It's not like, mm-hmm. well, fuck you, nigga, because of this. It's oh, like, hey, yeah, it's like, hey, I feel good, you feel good, and we're able to just live our lives fully. Mm-hmm. So that's a way that, that's one time that I had self-respect for myself mm-hmm. and didn't settle for ex-dick because y'all know ex-dick be bomb mm-hmm. as fuck. It's the relationship, after the relationship, that's that miss I miss you dick. That uh, ooh, and that nigga, we used to have so much fun. So yeah. uh, self respect, self respect. It makes you sigh, but it's worth it. It does. It really <laughs> do. You be you be is out at a bar. What the it fuck? It is. I'm sorry. I've been you on this one. Thing on your face and it's been bothering me. I'm I've, done. I've been on a thousand today. You know you what I really mean? Have. You know what I mean? Self respect. What was the vibe? I missed it. I'm it drunk. Makes you, wait, say it again. It you you forgot it? <laughs> it ma- self-respect. It makes you sigh, but it's worth the try. Aww, oh, that's really good. Because I, like I feel like when it comes yeah. to self-respect, you ah, end up... Self-respect. Self-respect is a very isolating thing. It's not exactly. something it you doesn't can, involve nobody, nobody else. else. No, it's like, it's you like, like, everybody it's when it comes to a, self-respect. It's literally a conversation with yourself. Am I about to fuck uh-huh. these three niggas at the same time? Exactly. <laughs> it's like, Am and, I? so no one could really say nothing about your self-respect. Just like that nigga making a video. I'm bringing him back up. Like, he can't say nothing about nobody's self-respect because it don't have nothing to do with him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only thing he can speak on is his self-respect. 
So if that means so don't not dealing thing. with certain type of women, that's on you. That exactly. has nothing to do with like a if woman you, has to be some way. You so, so married you and you so her. happy. But, Go but, but love your the, fucking wholesome ass end, wife. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I, I want y'all to understand that that's how people label their own self respect by not dealing with a woman who puts themselves out there as much as and that's certain them. women on the ground. That's gram. cool. And I need yeah, just understanding like that's them and that's cool. The way the same way that. They should some, understand some, that. They should still understand that. That's girls, her, and that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's exactly. cool for her. Exactly. You know, that, different strokes. Different strokes, different folks. Yeah. Let's. You have a, a time where you respected yourself. Um, I would have to say the three month rule that I did. Ooh. I lost a lot. Remember when I told you I wasn't having sex with anybody the first three months? Yes. I lost a lot of people within the first fucking month. It was <laughs> fucking crazy, and it was like. It was bad because it was just like we'd be outside. Were y'all doing stuff like hanging out and shit? We were hanging out, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were hanging out and like we were like enjoyed each other's company, but it was like then when the sex thing came up, it was like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "My vagina is not open. <laughs> it's, it's closed. It's closed. <laughs> like, like fucking Fortnite." And honestly, I mean, I broke it recently with somebody I really cared, to, like I really like or whatever. But the fact that he had to respect up until that point, he was just like, "Okay, I just won't think about it." You know what I mean? It's just whatever. It was. It was cool and it was refreshing and whatever and it made me feel like okay well he gives more fucks about me than having sex with you so why you why you had to why you had to gut it though what do you mean break your break her rule oh that's why you broke your yeah no i'm, I'm still talking that oh, shit's okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just broke her rule she ain't break yeah. it i thought right? i thought i thought you i that thought, thought you said happening. you you broke it off with somebody you you nah, can't nah, nah, she broke the rule nah, nah, nah. She, she, she really said she broke it off on somebody <laughs> she she <laughs> broke it on that an awful little piece of that I feel like this is such a super dope conversation. I feel Around. like we also have shown the complexities of self-respect and the complexities that comes with just being a human being in general and feeling good about yourself. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Taking time to have conversations with yourself and ha- create safe spaces with your friends so that you guys exactly. can have those conversations too and just be like, oh, okay, what's the time that you did feel respect? You know what I mean? Maybe help guide your friends like hey what makes you feel you felt powered empowered when you did this right like hey maybe do more of those type of things i have a i have an influx question what's that do you well an inverse question okay do you when was a time where you noticed somebody showing the same type of respect to you that you inflicted on yourself as far as self worth is concerned, mm, not yet. I feel like, but I feel like that's a that's a key. I feel like when it comes to dating, a lot of the times the people that you end up dating are going to be on the same wavelength as you. Mm-hmm. So if like if you're on this level of self worth and self respect, there's going to be someone who's going to treat you that way, and you're going to have to either keep um like accept mm-hmm. it or just be like, oh shit, I need to I need to level up my my self worth. So I feel like that's what dating is, and that's why I enjoy dating so much because mm-hmm. it just gives me a mirror of where I'm at in life. Mm-hmm. So when I meet guys who are kind of like, right now I feel like I'm at looking, not looking outside myself. Like I tend to date guys who are super alpha, super masculine, and who may take charge and take the lead. But really inside me, I just need to find that inside of myself. I need to learn how to take charge and take the lead and respect myself and go after what I want 100%. So I feel like all the times, most times I'm dating guys, they kind of reflect whatever level I'm, I'm at on myself. Mm-hmm. And it's for me to keep leveling up so that the guys that I'm dating keeps leveling up as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I take that back. Because, <laughs> yeah, you got to think about it. Like what Becky just said, they're a reflection of you. So... Mm-hmm. If they're not respecting you, it's because you're you first you allowed them to put themselves in that position to not respect you, and you're also not respecting yourself. So I guess all these niggas have met me where I was at <laughs> in those fucking moments. But I just want to say right now, I'm at an all time high with my self respect and my self love shit, mm-hmm. and the niggas who want to meet me there can meet me there. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. Period. <laughs> I think this was a great, 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 great episode, y'all. That's I, a fact. We really appreciate you guys staying tuned and keeping up with us, staying, keeping our followers growing. Like we at twenty k on Instagram, twenty 21. point twenty one point two k, I believe. Yeah. We appreciate you guys so much. Shout out to everyone 
who came to our live show. We had over 100 people there at the Silver Factory. Like, it was insane. You guys were, like, jumping us over the conversations. It was Honestly. it was so <laughs> exciting and so enticing. I had such a great time. Shout out to Gab Alexa. Shout out to Walt of Black Ink Crew. Um, also, yeah, we just have so much stuff in store for you guys this season. So we're so, so excited to be back. Facts, 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 facts. Yes, and thank you to all our patrons on Patreon, too. Y'all been, you know, providing the funds and shit. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, if you would like to go on Patreon, we have some exclusive content on there. It's patreon.com slash the whole phase. Yes, and we've been brainstorming a lot more stuff to bring to you guys on there. Shout out to you guys who've been patient with us. We're going to bring super exclusive content to Patreon. Mm-hmm. Like, we got, we buying shit. We getting all the shit together. All for y'all, okay? And also, shout out to this next season because we're taking it to the next motherfucking next level, month. okay? <laughs> shit y'all never even thought we was going to do. We're doing it just for you. Yeah, we just want to provide more for you guys, have more panels, just talk more deeply about the things that we're going through. And instead of not, you know, sometimes it's funny. You know, shit is be funny. We got to laugh at ourselves. Shit always funny. But always <laughs> also making it a little deeper so that we can really, you know, really take something from this Yes, it's been... A- it's definitely been more surface. Now we're getting into those deeper motherfucking levels. Mm-hmm. Okay. All the way down to your motherfucking core. Okay. All the motherfucking chakras. You poop, 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 and all of them bitches. Okay. To, and- to further give thanks, uh, I appreciate that. <laughs> RB, I'm sorry. <laughs> you really be a different nigga, like, the way you be talking. <laughs> to, to further, further give thanks. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, go. I want to thank all the people who've been supporting Punchline Punch this summer. Um, you know, every summer there's is just a growing increase of people you, who decide to, you know, order from me or have me at their events. And, you know, I've been feeling the love since, you know, since before summer started. So I just want to extend my thanks to everybody who's been supporting Punchline Punch this summer. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to Cater to a T. You had the Henny Punch facts, at facts, the facts. private dining yeah, experience. Yeah, how was that? I was going, Yo. I was going to sleepaway camp. So I'm, I'm it was First of all, the food was so good. The Y'all remember T was... from the, our Chopped episode. Don't worry, yes. we're bringing her back. Bringing She's back. coming back <laughs> because she got to come back. back. We had a six-course meal oh, cooked by her yesterday. Go and check out had... my story. I got and... every every meal on my fucking story. And okay? we had um, Punchline Punch that we were sipping on, that Henny Punch. It went so fast. That like, shit was so good. They were just like, we should have got more. They had, they, had some, they had some at the end, though. They still had some left over. Yeah. T, yeah. T and her sister got some to take home. She was like, but... I'm tasting this because I seen everybody drink it all night. I'm all, like, girl, you know, you're all, right. all the gangsters, <laughs> all the old men, they were sipping on their Henny Punch. I was just like, yes. Like, it was a beautiful How experience. How big were these cups? Because it was only six of these. We had like little champagne It was like, glasses. yeah, champagne uh, flutes. Okay. Yeah. It was good though. We were good. We were really good. We were good, yeah. to be honest. How and she people? also had um Prosecco. We had mimosas. So it was yeah. multiple things. Mm-hmm. We uh, had, I don't, it was like um almost 30 people. Yeah. Okay. And oh yeah, so you had like a good balance. We had a good balance. Mm. If it, it was, was just punchline though, that shit would have been going to 30 minutes. No, nah, for real. But it was beautiful. That's Shout out to T. The next one, the next one. We need to <laughs> maybe double, maybe triple that order. <laughs> Shout out to T. The food was amazing and the punchline paired with it was fantastic (laughs) yes but guys also don't forget to follow us on instagram at the whole phase and on twitter at the whole phase to keep up with all of our things that we got going on and the hella memes that mj be posting she's so fucking lit oh thank you yeah of course and also don't forget to subscribe to us on youtube youtube um, you can type in Sirens NYC on YouTube and you can find all of these videos and you can see us hotties on the video. I think that's it. I mean, yeah. plug yourself. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can follow me on Instagram at Everybody Loves Becky because everybody loves that Becky. I'm kind of trying to, tra- you know, transition because I feel like I was giving a little IG thought on my video and I need to give creative IG thought. Yeah. So I'm there's working on that. Y'all know there's, there's a difference between just titties and artsy titties. There's a difference. There's a difference. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to do a little rebranding, but y'all know where to find me. Yeah. All right, y'all can follow me on Instagram at MJ Smokes MJ. You know, the thirst traps have kind of slowed down just because I'm not trying to give that anymore. I'm trying to give something different. Like, I like giving hoe, 
But it's like I want to give creative ho. hope. Like, like ho, Becky said, ho, ho, H-E-U- but make it, but make it fashion. H e a u x. Ho, but make it fashion. But make it fashion. You know, like Remember, you gotta do the, the Tyra. Ho, but make it fashion. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, so and then you can also follow my. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what it was at all. <laughs> Thank you. That's how, that's how but yeah, y'all can also follow like, me uh, on MJ no. Braids and Slays. As you can see, Becky is braided and slayed. Yes, and then y'all that. can also see Yo, my... She getting clients. Y'all better put them orders Period. in. Y'all we almost booked up for September, so get it right. That motherfucker's about to be on the waiting list. You ain't gonna get your hair done till right. December, bitch. You gotta get it together. Get it the fuck right. Wait. Also, y'all can see the wig is... Slay too, cause it's MJ Braid. Cut slay, custom color, custom color. Um, this custom shit was black slay. when I started. Okay, period. first of all, it's period. not even this texture. So, period. period. Wait, um, RB said ho, but no. <laughs> right, ho, but, but no. no. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to give. I'm sorry, that you took me out. This is a ho, ho, but, but no. no. <laughs> And you can follow me. Did you finish all your tags? I did. It's Brazen Slay, Smokes the and Pokes. The tattoo page is, is a little, it's taking a little break I'm right trying now. trying to get Fuck no. Little... Okay, all right. Follow MJ Smokes and Pokes. I'm a manager. Smokes and Pokes because, oh, sorry. listen, pause. She going to be poking me while I'm smoking. <laughs> okay. We got to go. <laughs> we got to go. Tell, tell your son you going to get this fucking pizza. I haven't had this pizza in fucking months. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was thinking about that while I was sitting. I was like, ooh, right? grandma. Pizza. pizza. Okay, good. But, yo, it's your boy, RB, representing Punchline Punch. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook, at Punchline Punch, straight like that. Um, We were sipping on that bubble trouble. And we still got a whole we, picture yeah, left. That shit had something different in it. Because <laughs> the fact that we didn't finish that second one, I'm concerned. Crazy. But, that um, means we're just going to have so much more fun afterwards. Yeah. If you want to try this and many of my other drinks before the summer menu is over by, I want to say, September 30th. I'm going to extend it for the whole month of September. I got Ooh. the summer menu going. Um, Hit me in my DMs. Hit me on my email at punchline punch at punchline punch at gmail dot com, and uh, I'm gonna be rocking out, man. Yes. Also, shout out to Heart the Artist because um, your cousin told us that you're a major fan of us. So I wanted to just say, hey, what's up? That's cute. <laughs> also, you cute. <laughs> Hey. I'm just trying to I'm, kidding. I'm actually kidding. She's no. not. No, she's he's not. cute, but I'm saying he's I'm not fly. trying to. No yeah. lie. Boy. No I'm just trying to follow through with that too. With the. Look at with the rotation. Like, oh, <laughs> Look at her looking in there. He probably there too. Hey, heart. No, the I keep artist. looking in there because I keep looking at myself. But hey, like, heart the artist. We're drunk now, so everyone, let's stop. <laughs> and I have to pee. So let's. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we will see you guys, motherfuckers, next week. Yeah. We coming with crazy shit this season, we- bitch. <laughs> I don't even want to say nothing we have planned, y'all. Nah, like, y'all gonna have to see every week. It's gonna, it's gonna be something different. You're gonna be like, what the fuck are these bitches doing? Like, what? What? Like, wait, wait. Like, is this the whole phase? Yes, it is. For yeah. real. Shout out to RB. RB got his own segment. So send in all of the, y'all, y'all stories. All the questions. All, all of it. All the stories that you got. Listen, we gonna talk about it, man. And okay. we, gonna, we gonna give you the real. Yeah, but we love you guys so much. Yes. I just wanted to work. I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> 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 we'll see you guys next week, bitch. Bye. Bye. <laughs>